Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hope that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty. Uh, dear students, uh, because of the impact or effect of the COVID-19, maybe your educational institution is closed, but your education should never be closed. It is a never ending process. It is a continuous process. So take time contemplate on your own study even it is high time to study more and more dear students like previous class today we will take a discussion on some other rules of the completing sentences let us concentrate here are uh, two dot dot two okay to complete sentence if we are to use this structure into two ways Okay, first one and two. First one, let us concentrate the structure subject plus verb plus two plus adjective slash adverb plus two plus b1 mean base form of the verb. Again, the structure subject plus verb plus two plus adjective slash adverb plus Two plus B one. Now, depending on the structure, uh, we will try to complete some sentence. Okay, the patient is two. Uh, this is given here. The rest of the part is omitted, and you students will have to complete the rest of the part of the sentence. How the patient is two. Walk. Very simple. The patient is too weak to walk. According to the structure, two is here, and this is as a T, weak, and two, and this is B1. Two plus B1, infinitive form. Again, the stranger, the stranger was too. Very simple sentence. Uh, the stranger was too tired to talk. Uh, here, after two, an adjective is used, and then infinitive is also used to talk. The stranger was too tired to talk. In that way, you can also make many, many sentences depending on that particular structure. Okay, now. Uh, we will concentrate on the structure number two. Here, subject plus verb plus two plus adjective slash adverb plus four plus pu. Pu means personal object plus two plus p one. Okay, student, please let us take a comparison between one and two. What is the basic difference between these two structures? Here, in the first one, after adjective or adverb, we are getting directly 2 plus b1 infinitive form. But here, after adjective or adverb, we are getting 4, for preposition 4, and then personal object, any personal object, and then 2 plus b1. So, this form and personal object is additional part in comparison of that one. It means that if you have four in the question, definitely you will have to use a personal object. And then little part of the sentence will have to be completed using infinitive form 2 plus B1. I think it is very clear to all of his students. Now, let's start. Making sentence, completing sentence depending on that rule. How it is? The load was too heavy for the little boy. For the little boy. The load was too heavy for the little boy to carry. Uh, dear students, please. Um, let's concentrate on that sentence. The load was too heavy to and then heavy is in what? 
a drop and four. Four we are getting after four personal object, the little word is used and then two plus b and two k. The complete sentence is like that. The load was too heavy for the little boy to carry. To carry. Okay, that is the end of the sentence. Now let's concentrate on the second example. The problem is too difficult for students. Please, the problem subject is how too difficult and for till that question is given in the question paper. As you are getting four, definitely you will have to think that you will have to use a personal object and then infinitive use can be used. How it is? The problem is too difficult for the students. It's too difficult for the students to solve. Okay? The complex sentence is that the problem is too difficult for the students to solve. Dear student, please take a deep contemplation of the structure first and then you can take triumph of making sentences. It is the process. There is nothing difficult. Everything will be very easy and facile to you. Students, please, let's concentrate rules number five. So, dog dog that. Okay? A conjunction. Using that conjunction, we can also what? Complete sentence. Subject plus how plus so plus a verb or adjective plus that and then subject plus cannot or couldn't plus be one. Okay. If there is so dot of that in the second part of the sentence or in the second clause, you will have to use cannot or couldn't after subject and after cannot or couldn't be one base form of the verb. Okay. Again, subject plus verb plus so plus adverb or adjective plus that. Again, subject plus cannot or couldn't plus be one. Now, we will try to formulate a sentence. Many workers are so poor that many daily workers. This is the subject or verb. So poor that. Uh, this is so and poor. So after poor is an adjective and that. And definitely, according to the structure, we will have to use subject. They. The ordinary workers are so poor that they cannot. They cannot. Okay. This is the complete of the sentence. The many workers are so poor that they cannot manage their daily meal event. Here, so poor that subject is used and then cannot is used after cannot be one manages and their daily meal. Now, student, depending on the structure, let us formulate another sentence. The old man was so weak that the old man subject was how so with that we is the what adjective that he okay uh, the old man was so weak that he couldn't work steadily here we is an adjective and then that and subject he and couldn't walk. After couldn't walk is today. Right? Student, please uh, let us take a close notice of these two sentences. Here, cannot. And in the second one, couldn't. It means that 
In these two sentences, tense pattern has also been observed, have also been maintained. How it is? Many daily workers are in present tense. That's why we have used cannot in present tense. The old man was in past tense. That's why we have used couldn't. I think this rule is also very much clear to all of his students. Dear students, let's concentrate on the rule number six. That is so that. Okay, subject class, bahav class, the subject class, may, my, can, could, plus, bahav. Okay, subject class, bahav class, and then so that. Student place. Huh? It starts with subject plus, bhav plus, dot, 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 so that. And then subject may, might, can, could, plus be one. And then depending on the prior clause or prior part of the sentence, if there is any absence of body to use some other words, you can use. Now concentrate. On the example, we eat balanced diet. We eat balanced diet. Okay? Subject, bhav, and balanced diet as an object. And then so that. We eat balanced diet so that we can maintain a good health. We can maintain a good health. Subject we can is used after can B1, based on the bar, has been used a good health. The complete sentence we eat balanced diet so that we can maintain a good health. Students, please let us try to formulate another sentence. Last one, that is the the lady guest flattered the writer. The lady guest subject flattered no, the writer object, and then we are using so that, so that she, she could Okay, the lady guess what her the writer so that she could exploit him. Here, as what her did in past tense, we have used could. Okay, could and then exploit B1. The lady guess what her the writer so that she could exploit him. Dear students, I think this rule is also very much understandable to you. Uh, please. Don't waste time, stay at home, contemplate on your own study, keep on your study, read more and more, time will be yours. Thank you, lots of thanks each and everybody for watching this video. Again, very soon we will be start another class depending on some structures for knowing some rules, some other extra rules of completing sentences. Thank you all.